back again talking about the wonderful world of inclined planes and we're gonna work a little problem here we have a couple of guys that are gonna load this refrigerator into the back of this truck and in order to put that refrigerator in the back of the truck rather than lift this refrigerator straight up from the ground and setting it in the back of the truck they're gonna roll it up this inclined plane and our job is to figure out number one what is the ideal mechanical advantage of the inclined plane in other words how much is it in this inclined plane really going to help them do this work and b we're going to calculate using the inclined planes mechanical advantage we're going to calculate the amount of effort force that they have to apply to this refrigerator to actually move it up to the back of the truck we're going to compare that then to the weight of the refrigerator that they're lifting. So this will give us a good idea of the reason for actually using an inclined plane. So let's, uh, let's put some values in here so we have something to work with. And I guess the first thing that we need to know is uh, how much does a refrigerator weigh? Well, a refrigerator weighs about... Well, this isn't, doesn't look like a huge refrigerator, so I'm going to give it a weight of about 980 newtons. That would give it a mass of about 100 kilograms. So the weight of the refrigerator is about 980 newtons. And that is going to be the resistance that they have to move. Because remember what they're doing with this inclined plane. Using this inclined plane, they're going to lift this refrigerator vertically. They're going to lift this 980 Newton refrigerator vertically to set it in the back of the truck. So the force of weight, you want to keep in mind, that is the force of resistance that they're going to be moving. And let's give the, the inclined plane some dimensions. This inclined plane has dimensions of 3.5 meters long and it is also vertically, we're going to give it a height that's from the ground to the back of the truck, we're going to give it a height of 1 meter. So those are the dimensions of the inclined plane. And with that information, we should have enough to work with to eventually calculate how much effort they would have to apply to move that refrigerator up the inclined plane. In other words, how much effort do they actually have to apply to lift the refrigerator one meter vertically using the inclined plane? Well, I guess the best place to start out here is just to calculate the ideal mechanical advantage. And remember that the ideal mechanical advantage, the IMA, is the input side divided by the output side. Now a lot of textbooks that you look at will use the effort side and the resistance side. I don't like to do that. I like to call them input and output side. Why? Because this is universal to all machines. All machines have an input side and an output side that are usually pretty darn easy to identify. So the input side is the length of the ramp, which is 3.5 meters. And the output side is the distance that we're going to lift the refrigerator, in other words, the height of the ramp, which is 1 meter. So this inclined plane has an ideal mechanical advantage of 3.5. What that ideal mechanical advantage means, it means that any effort force they apply is going to be multiplied by 3.5. It tells you how much the machine multiplies your effort force. So using this ideal mechanical advantage, we could always calculate a resistance force that we could move with any particular effort force. And to do that, what we would what we do normally is say force of resistance equals ideal mechanical advantage times force of effort because remember 
the ideal mechanical advantage multiplies the upward force to allow you to lift a larger resistance force in this case. So we already know the uh, resistance force. We don't have to calculate that. We want to calculate the effort force that it's going to take to move that resistance. So we're going to have to rearrange this equation. We're going to have to do a little bit of algebra, and we're going to solve this equation for the effort force. And the effort force can be found mathematically by doing a little algebra and dividing each side by the ideal mechanical advantage. So the effort force is equal to the force of resistance divided by the ideal mechanical advantage. I can write that down here again. Force of effort equals the resistance force divided by the ideal mechanical advantage. Now, that just stands to reason. If the ideal mechanical advantage multiplies the effort force to tell you the resistance force, then it must divide the resistance force to tell you the effort force because they're on opposite sides of the machine. So they're opposite mathematical functions. So force of effort is equal to the force of resistance, and the force of resistance now is the weight that we're going to lift, which is 980 newtons, divided by the ideal mechanical advantage, which is 3.5. And when we work that out, we get an effort force of 280 newtons. So in order for these guys to move this refrigerator up the inclined plane, they have to only apply a force, an effort force, equal to 280 newtons up the inclined plane to lift a 980 newton refrigerator. And that is why you use an inclined plane. It makes the work easier to do by decreasing the amount of force you have to apply to lift a larger resistance.